Hey everybody, it's Chris again. Um, just came back to finish up some paints that I had mixed up from a previous pour. And I thought I would do a flip cup on another album. This album is actually a 33, so it's a regular size album. Uh, the ones I did before were 78, so they're slightly smaller. But this is actually a thicker album. Um, I noticed some of the older albums have a thicker material, which I really like to pour on because they don't flex and they um, stand up to the paint and they don't start to um, kind of bend down when they get heavy with the paint. So on this album, I just plug the hole, put some um, hole filler in the center there to kind of fill in that gap. And then I did use kills on the album label again because I found with these older albums the ink seems to bleed through the paint which is not very pretty so I also taped the back of it just in case I decide to resin it this may just get a coat of varnish we'll see and I'm thinking that this is probably going to become one of my prizes for reaching a certain amount of subscribers on YouTube so thinking I want to do giveaways at 250, 500, 750, and 1,000 subscribers. That might be kind of fun. So this is potentially one of the prizes for subscribing. So make sure you hit like and subscribe. So I'm going to start with a, I believe this is a seven ounce cup. I've squirted it lightly with WD-40 silicone spray just so that my paint will release. So I'm just gonna set it down here and I'm just gonna go ahead and add my paints in. Like I said, um, just using some of my leftover paints. So I have some of the champagne gold. So I'm gonna start that in the bottom here. And then I have deep violet. This is a Liquitex Basics paint. So just gonna add some of that in there as well. And then this is the turquoise green from Hobby Lobby, the master's touch. So we'll add some of that in here. And I'm not really layering my paints in, I'm just kind of pouring in oops, along the sides. That's okay, we'll just have a little extra pink on there. Um, this is the Deep Magenta from Artist Loft, so we'll add some of that in there as well. And I think I'll go back and add a little more gold. And might just kind of layer that on the top. And then I thought I would add some mineral blue. And this is a Soho paint, and I have this mixed with my pouring medium. So I'm just gonna add some of that in there. I think we're gonna have to have most of the cup full, so I'm just gonna continue to add in the other colors that I have mixed up. Kind of looks a little Mar Mardi Gras, doesn't it? <clears throat> nice and bright colors. And put a little more pink in there. And then I'm kind of feeling like I want to add just a little bit of black for some contrast. Um, I think I've got that mixed up, so let me grab that real quick and we'll add that in there as well. I think I'll just squirt that down through the center so that it goes into all the colors. And that should be pretty good. Might just add a little bit more blue. And might as well add a little bit more of this paint because what am I gonna do with it other than throw it back into my other colors, so. All right, that should be pretty darn good. All right, so I'm gonna pick this up and I'll flip it. I'll just kind of let it sit there for a second and let the color, you can see the colors already coming down off the cup. That's the reason I use the WD-40. I don't put a lot in there for cells, but I do like to use it when I'm doing a flip cup just so that all of my paint releases and I don't feel like I've got a bunch of paint stuck in the bottom of the cup. All right, and then we're just gonna release this out. Still have some in my cup here. So I just want to kind of see how that flows. And we'll just add that over here on the side. It doesn't look like our purple is showing or the pink, so hopefully that comes up through the paint. It looks like we have a lot of turquoise and mineral blue, so it looks like some of the purple is starting to come through over here though, so that's kind of neat. We definitely have some cell action. That's probably from the pouring medium that I use. Um, my pouring medium is four cups of Floetrol, a cup of glue all, a half a cup of the Liquitex pouring medium, and then a quarter cup of water, and then I mix that in with my paints to get the consistency that I like. And I like to mix my paints in the condiment bottles 
on that way I've got everything all ready to go just like with the black I decided to add that in at the last second well because I have it already pre-mixed you didn't have to wait for me to hurry up and mix some up so I really like what the gold's doing with some of the cells all right let's pick this little guy up and see if we can kind of move it around and get some more colors to pop through hopefully didn't feel like I added that much black but boy it really seems like the black kind of took over doesn't it I like this little ribbon I've got going on here. I really don't want to lose that. So let's see if we can gently roll that and hang on to it. Maybe if I stretch it out a bit, I'll be able to retain it a little more. Probably going to end up losing it, though, it looks like. Got some more cells popping through there with that gold. Boy, that black really took over, didn't it? Holy cow. See, some of the pink is popping back up, though. So, I'm not sure that I love all that black on there. You can see some of the pink is popping up. And I'm getting some kind of crazy cell action there. But I think we're just going to let it go and see what it does, because I see some other things popping up. So hopefully... Get some more things popping up through this black. That's a lot of black there. And I really thought I would have a lot more vibrant color. So I'm wondering if maybe we should torch this just a tiny bit. See if we can get some more stuff popping up through. So I'll just grab my torch. You want to be careful when you torch an album because it is vinyl. But with this being a little bit thicker, hopefully it'll be all right. So this will not only pop the bubbles, but it'll also help some of that stuff come up through there, I think. So you can see where some of the turquoise kind of popped up through. And hopefully some more pink will continue to come up through. So we will check back on this and see how it's looking here in about 30 minutes and give you another view. And you can see how it's changed over a little time lapse here. So um, I'll be back and show you how it's looking in about 30. Thanks. Okay, so we're back and it's been a little closer to an hour since I stopped the video and you can see that it definitely did some changing and not as much black is showing for sure and a little more of the gold has popped up so I decided I wasn't going to mess with it <laughs> even though it pained me a lot not to start tilting and seeing what it would do but I think it turned out pretty cool so um, we'll let this baby dry and then possibly do some resin or at least do a nice coat of gloss varnish on it and it'll be ready for its new home. Thanks for watching and please let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.